Hey, I hear you. You guys have spoken and clearly I made a huge mistake when it comes to this PC. Now, I am not the type of person who is too proud to admit when he may have made a mistake. And you guys were real quick to call me out on the fact that I probably made a huge mistake when it came to this PC. So instead of, you know, defend myself, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix it. Before we get into it though, this video is sponsored by KTC and their H34S 18S gaming monitor. This is a 34 inch, 3440 by 1440p display with a 144 hertz refresh rate. This is a stunning curved display that fits in with any setup style and provides an extremely immersive gaming experience. And my absolute favorite thing about this monitor is that it is budget friendly. The H34S has a MSRP of $299, which lowers the entry cost into gaming at higher resolutions. They sent one over for me to take a look at and for the price of this thing, what you're getting is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much KTC for sponsoring this video and sending over this beautiful display for me to take a look at. Now, back to the video. I've said for a very long time, the PC Build Up Challenge is your series, so if you guys are not happy with a decision that I make, you have every right to call me out on it and we can go ahead and we can change it. Now, for those of you who may not know what I'm talking about, I will put a link to the video up top if you wanted to go check out that video for yourself, but I'll give you the cliff notes now. We put this PC together a few weeks ago and I needed to make around $900 to be profitable on the system and I got way too carried away because the platform that it's on is, is very old and it's definitely not worth a ton of money. It definitely looks like it's worth $900, but even I can admit that's definitely a stretch. Now for the specs of this system, it is an Intel i7 7700K CPU. It does have 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. It has a one terabyte SATA SSD and it has a 5060 graphics card. So let me show you what I have in mind to fix this system. I went on eBay and I found somebody selling a B650 motherboard for $88. And on top of that, I also picked up this brand new CPU. This CPU inside of this bubble wrap here is a 7500F CPU. So we're gonna be making a massive performance leap by going from a really old Intel platform to a really new AM5 platform. Now this system also has a one terabyte SATA SSD and if we're gonna be going with a brand new AM5 build, we're gonna put a M.2 in it. So I picked up another one of my favorite M.2s, the Kleb Crass one terabyte Gen 4 NVMe. It's gonna pair really well with this system. Now because I can't use the 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM that is inside of this system on a board that only supports DDR5 RAM. I had to pick up more RAM, so I picked up this Acer Predator RAM. It is silver, it'll match this build really well. And I believe, I mean, it's a 32 gig kit. I believe I only paid like $79. It was on sale for this particular RAM. Now in our original video, we needed to make $900 off of this system to come out in the green. And now with all of these new parts, we're at a build cost of $890 for this system. So it's $10 short of what I wanted to make off the build anyways. And I'm gonna be completely honest, after spending all this money, we're probably not going to make a whole lot off of this system. We're basically just making this right. If we, Even if we broke even, I'd be okay with that because what we are going to do is we're going to be taking the 7700K, the motherboard and the RAM out of here with the SATA SSD. And we're gonna build an entirely separate PC with those components with a graphics card and a price point that makes a little bit more sense with the generational hardware that is in here. So let's go ahead and we'll scoot this over so that I can show you what the old motherboard is going into. Get out of here box. It's getting a brand new case. It's getting a new cooler and a new power supply. And it's getting a 6600 XT graphics card that I was able to pick up for $100. Now this is the type of video that requires an absolute mountain of work to accomplish because not only do I have to take this one apart and rebuild it, but I'm also gonna build you an entirely new PC. And remember, you guys have to stay until the end because I need your help coming up with a list price on what we're gonna try and sell this system for after all is said and done. And then how much we're gonna try and sell this system for and I'll tell you how much it costs to put this system together which is actually a much better price than what I was gonna try and get for this PC. Now because of the amount of work that I have to do we need to get started like right now. So I'm gonna throw on some music and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my screwdriver. I can see you're skeptical you can have a little faith it never killed nobody what you waiting for Getting closer by the step feels like it's just getting started
for We're getting closer by the step Feels like it's just getting started so I hope that I have atoned for my mistakes when it came to the original build inside of this system. I think that the old parts definitely look pretty good inside of this build. I do like the wood accents here. It's more of a dark build. Now, if it was me personally, if I was producing this case, I would have put all black fans. These are RGB fans, and I think that a case that has wood on it doesn't need RGB, but that's just me. You're free to feel however you feel about that. But when I turn the RGB on inside of the system, I really don't like it, so I'm just not going to. Now, the other thing that I don't like is that I have the white RAM and there's white accents on the motherboard, but rather than paint it, it's a cheap PC. I figured I would just leave it as is. I still think it looks pretty good. I mean, I'll let you guys be the judge. Now, as far as this PC goes, while I think it looks like a million dollars, I don't think that we're going to make a lot of money on this system, simply because pre-built systems with this kind of hardware usually run around $900. Now, aesthetically, pre-built systems don't come looking like this, so maybe the aesthetics inside of this build will push us over the edge a little bit, maybe a thousand, maybe like $1,100 for this build. But like, again, you guys decide how much I sell these PCs for. So I'm going to leave that up to you guys to decide. But to help your decision making process on how much we're going to try and sell these systems for, why don't we go over a little bit of the gameplay? Now, forewarning, because this video is sponsored by KTC and they sent over that absolutely beautiful 34 inch ultra wide monitor, I tested both systems at 1440p when both systems are going to do way better at 1080p. But let's still look at the results. Now, when I talk about this information, I'm always going to talk about the white PC first, but in Forza 5 at extreme settings with ray tracing also set to extreme, we're getting an average of 82 FPS. And on our wood PC, we're getting an average of 99 FPS, but I had to turn off ray tracing and set the graphics down to medium. In Horizon Zero Dawn, also at the game's max preset, we're getting an average of 89 FPS. And on the wood PC with the graphics lowered to medium, we're getting an average of 71 FPS. In God of War, max settings, we're getting an average of 80 FPS on our white PC. And on our wood PC, with the settings lowered to original, we are seeing an average of 63 FPS. And lastly, I checked out Marvel Rivals on our bright and shiny PC build, and we were getting an average of 66 FPS with the settings at max. And on our not so shiny PC, I dropped the settings down to medium, and we were able to achieve an average FPS of 55. Now, honestly, the performance for both of these systems was pretty good at 1440p, even though neither one of them are really 1440p heavy gaming PCs. This one really surprised me because even though I had to lower the settings down a little bit, it still performed really well and gave us an extremely playable experience. So excuse me while I get my phone that has all my financial information. Now, if you remember at the end of episode 19, when we put the original all white PC together, I said that we had $2,413 left in our bank to build your PC after we put this thing together. Now, I needed to buy a new motherboard, a CPU, RAM, and SSD for this system, and I needed to buy a new case and cooler for this system. And that grand total for all of this comes out to $442, which is gonna drop our total bankroll that we have to build your system down to $1,971. But even though our total bankroll did go down, I still feel like we are in good shape because this PC may sell for around $1,000, and this PC, if I had to make a guess, would be around $500. But again, like always, you guys dictate how much I'm gonna sell both of these PCs for. So what I'm gonna need for you to do is run down to the comments section and let me know what you think a fair list price would be for both of these systems. And God knows I listened to you. I pulled this one off Marketplace the second I saw that you guys were not happy with how the original build turned out. And hopefully you guys are much happier with this one. But for some real quick math, let's say this thing sells for $1,000 and this thing sells for $500. If that is the case, we're gonna be at $3,471 earned. So that smaller amount of money in $1,971 can quickly shoot back up to the $3,000 level, getting us closer to building the PC that is eventually gonna sit on your desk. Now, if you did have a little bit of fun with me here today, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It always means so much to me to have brand new friends. And remember that no matter where you are in the world, I hope that you are having the most fantastic day. And I'm gonna see you right here for the next video. Oh my elbow.